Welcome to RPS Group of Schools online classes. Today we will continue with our chapter Coal and Petroleum. This is session 1. In this chapter, we are going to learn about resources and its types, types of natural resources, fossil fuels, coal, petroleum, natural gas, and alternative sources of energy. We use a large variety of materials in our daily life. These materials which are essential for our survival are called resources. These resources are either man-made or natural. As you can see in the given outline, Resources are classified as natural and man-made resources. Natural resources are classified as inexhaustible and exhaustible natural resources. In this chapter, we'll study about exhaustible natural resources. Natural resources. Materials required for our survival such as air, water, sunlight, soil are provided by nature and they are known as natural resources. The resources such as paper, plastic, rubber, machines, vehicles are all produced or made by humans. Such resources are called man-made resources. Let us see the classification of natural resources. Based on the amount present in nature, natural resources can be grouped or classified as Exhaustible natural resources, inexhaustible natural resources. Let us study each in detail. The resources which are present in a limited amount in nature cannot be continually replenished and are likely to be exhausted by various human activities are called exhaustible natural resources. Petroleum, coal, forest and minerals are some examples of exhaustible natural resources. The resources which are present in an unlimited amount in nature can be continually replenished and are not likely to be exhausted by various human activities are called inexhaustible natural resources. Some examples of inexhaustible natural resources include water, sunlight, soil, air, etc. Let us discuss some differences between exhaustible and inexhaustible natural resources. Exhaustible natural resources are present in a limited quantity or amount in nature, whereas inexhaustible natural resources are present in unlimited amount in the nature. Exhaustible natural resources cannot be continually recharged or replenished. Inexhaustible natural resources, on the other hand, can be continually replenished. Examples of exhaustible natural resources include fossil fuels, forest, minerals, whereas examples of inexhaustible natural resources include sunlight, water, soil, air. Do you know what is fossil fuel? The term fossil fuel consists of two terms fossil and fuel. To understand fossil fuel, first we need to study fossils and fuels. Fossils are remains, molds or impressions of animals and plants which got buried and preserved in rocks or ice. They help to study the features of past organisms and changes that occurred from time to time. The branch of science dealing with the study of fossils is called paleontology. 
A fuel is a substance that produces heat on burning. The fuels possess stored chemical energy, also known as chemical potential energy, in them. When a fuel is burned, a considerable amount of energy is released in the form of heat. Let's discuss what are fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are the fuels that are formed from the remains of plants and animals that died millions of years ago. Fossil fuels are valuable sources of energy. Examples include coal, petroleum and natural gas. Let us study coal in detail. Coal is a black and brownish black hard and combustible substance. Chemically, coal is a mixture of chemical substances containing carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in combined form together with small amounts of nitrogen and sulphur. Coal is a sedimentary rock that usually occurs in layers called coal beds or coal seams. It is obtained by a process called mining. Let us learn about some properties of coal. To study the properties of coal, let us perform an activity. From page number 71 of your textbook. Aim to study the properties of coal. For this activity you will require a piece of coal, a pair of tongs and a burner. Take a piece of coal, observe its color and hardness. Now hold a small piece of coal with a pair of tongs over a burner and try to burn it. Does it turn black? You will observe that coal is black and hard. It also catches fire on heating. From this activity, we can conclude that coal is a combustible substance. Coal is used for many purposes in daily life. For example, it is used to cook food. Coal is also used for generating electricity in thermal power plants. It is also used as a source of energy in various industries like cement, paper, steel, iron, etc. Let us study the formation of coal. It took millions of years to form all the coal that is present on the earth. About 300 million years ago, our earth was covered with dense forests and swamps having huge trees and other leafy plants. As these trees and plants died, they fell down on the wet and swampy floor of the forest and began to sink in the soil. More and more dead vegetation, gravel and soil deposited over them. The heat and pressure from the top layers gradually turned the remains of plants into coal. The slow conversion of dead trees and plants into coal is called carbonization. Depending on the amount of carbon present in it, coal can be classified into three main types. Anthracite contains about 90% carbon. It is shiny black and very hard. Bituminous. It is also called black coal and contains about 60% carbon. It is black in color and breaks very easily. Lignite. It contains about 40% carbon and it is brown in color and softer than other types of coal. Anthracite is the best grade coal with highest concentration of carbon followed by bituminous and then lignite. That was all for today's class. Thank you.